So I am a mother of three boys. I um, live in a household that's all boys, dog included, which was good preparation uh, for working with Douglas Sue. Is that it? Yeah, the dog part. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> nice. No one's, ever put me in, no one's ever put me in that good of company before. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Your, her cute. dog is oh, so cute. And uncontrollable. Just huge and furry. He's like Snuffleupagus. And a little smaller than Snuffleupagus. Mm -hmm. Same color. Think of Can anything. you talk about maybe your history as an actor, Mr. Sills? I was a veterinarian until about six months ago. <laughs> this is my first gig. It's going really well. I don't think this is the one. Sorry. Okay, what do you want me to say? Uh, give me a suggestion of what I should talk about. I'm, I've been doing this for a while. I come from a big family, four kids. I'm the youngest. Um, I've been married for 20 years. I'm recently out of that marriage. And it has given me an incredible, uh, dynamically specific perspective on this story, which is the story of long-term love and the elasticity that's required to sort of stay in it. Would you like to start, my love? Yeah. You look so handsome. Thank you. You look wonderful. It's been a long time since I've seen you. <laughs> um, hi. I'm Robin Herter, um, but I'm also known as Robin Alves, mm -hmm. married to this I'm gentleman. Clyde Alves, also known as Robin's husband. <laughs> and we're both in the show together, Casey and Kate, playing opposite each other as mm -hmm. Bill Calhoun, my character, slash Lucentio. And, and uh, Lois Lane slash Bianca, Bianca. Yeah. So, I mean. Our stories are, uh, we met each other a long time ago, uh, doing some theater in Maine, where you're from. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been in the business since like 96 was my first show. And uh, we've been living in New York City for about almost 16 years now. I've been living together in New York City for mm -hmm. what? Over a decade. Over a decade. It's been great. And we are in a show together here in D.C., and it's exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I, like he said, I come from Maine. Uh, I grew up at a, a ballet school, and but I always had the dream of being on Broadway, so I guess when I got into my teenage years, I really started focusing on musical theater. And I went to college for a hot second, and uh, I quit because <laughs> I was too eager to get to New York, and I, I kind of started... There, I was very lucky. Got a Broadway show, and uh, I've been doing it for over a decade now, and it's been really great. Do you want to tell them about our fun story? Which one? That ties in the show that we're doing. Oh yes. Um, go ahead. Oh. I know how you like to tell the story. I do. <laughs> um, basically, we met at this summer stock theater called Main State Music Theater, and we had met three years. Well, we had met in 2001. I was a little one. I was I was an intern, and he was one of the uh, the equity performers, and I had a huge crush on him. And uh, he said he had a crush on me too, but I still don't believe him. I did. <laughs> anyway, uh, three years go by. We we do that summer, and then three years go by, and we end up working together again. And we did the show Brigadoon, and that's when we started flirting. And then we did a little show called Kiss Me Kate. Mm -hmm. And that's where we fell in love. Absolutely. And that was how many years ago? Eleven? Yeah, eleven years ago. I was one of the suitors. I think I was Hortensio. And you were just one of the ladies. I and, am uh, one of the ensemble members. We had a grand old time, and now this is sort of full circle. So It's crazy. Yeah. And it's really awesome. Hi, I'm Raymond McLeod. And, and I'm Bob Ari. And I'm Raymond McLeod, and I'm... And I'm Bob Ari. And, and, and I'm famous. Oh, why are you famous, Ray? I've done so many things and been with so many people. And you, Bob? Uh, I'm not famous. Good. But I'm hoping this show will make me famous. <laughs> I hope that works out for you. <laughs> yeah. Really. Big in Washington. 